Hey guys, we are live. Sorry that I'm a bit late. I had to uh, like change some settings of the stream and now it should work actually. I'm happy to be back. Um, it's been a while. The last video um, was like recorded a couple and, and published a couple of weeks ago and I think the last live stream it's it's been like months you know <laughs> I'm happy to be back um I hope you are having a good time um I'm like it's like 7 7 p.m. here in Germany not right now um and maybe you can just let me know in the chat and live chat if you're here if you're here with me Okay, maybe you've read it in the title already, or like you just read it on my screen. Um, I want to talk with you about the latest Sketch update, Sketch version 55. Um, it's been a couple of days since it was released, but I'm not sure if all of you have like downloaded and used it already, because it's quite new obviously and I, I gotta say like my first try to use the latest the new features wasn't that good and I think um, that's like the reason for this video so sketch version 55 is about smart distribute and that's like a, a set of features and they are starting with the first one and it's um, like a, a set of features that will help you to improve your design workflow by having a like faster way of arranging things or a faster and better way to check spacings between layers. Um, and they released like the first part of it and as I read it right here, they are going to release a couple of more features in the next uh, like weeks and months and I'm pretty much looking forward to that. So um, that's like the main feature and uh, we also see that there is a second and smaller feature which is that we can now paste SVG code in Sketch uh, and we are going to like not get the, the code pasted as a text layer um, because usually if you, for example, have a certain like text in your, um, if you copied it and you want to paste it, you usually just create a new text layer with your copy. But if you, from now on, if you from now on paste, um, SVG code and I use this website material design icons because I used it for a real project in the past few days, um, I can see the SVG code of this icon right here. And it will automatically paste into this icon. So it's not pasting into a normal like text layer, but it's pasting into the like final icon layer or whatever you want to paste like whatever you want to use for your svg um oh a chinese designer in the chat hi welcome um so that's that's pretty awesome to be honest that's incredible so people who are working with a lot of svgs are probably now chomping and happy but the latest update is about smart distribute and before we do that i will ungroup those um imports i i call them imports now um because i think yeah i think sketch will paste them into a group because i could imagine i like i i don't know for sure but i could imagine that if you paste a certain svg svg code uh you could theoretically get like 1000 layers and they will like they give you a group that you can simply uh, hide or like expand and also close you know so it's far easier to work with that but um, coming back 
to the main feature, Smart Distribute. And I, as I said at, in, the, at in the beginning, I didn't really understand it at first. So for example, we have like these two icons right here and we want to um, have a good spacing between them. We can set a certain spacing like this. I can make another copy and see by dragging that there are 10 pixels between those three icons. But imagine we have another one laying right there or this is like, so we can check the distances. This is the spacings. Uh, this is 55 pixels. This is uh, like a 35 and this is 10 pixels. So what we will do now um, is to select all of these layers. And when I first did this, I was really confused because I didn't see that or like what I could do with Smart Distribute. Like I, I selected all of these layers. Where are the handles? Um, when we go back to the update, um, we see that we have to grab those handles, but selecting these layers isn't giving me any handles, you know? So my first attempt, my first tr uh, try was to select like this side right here, because a, I think that's a handle, you know? <laughs> and I dragged it and it broke my design like that. So let's um, get back to the normal state. And then I like hovered it and I saw that, that there are handles, you know, additional and new handles I haven't seen before, but on a white artboard, on a white screen, you don't really see these handles that good, to be honest. For example, if I change the artboard color to blue, oh, this one, or let's make it like this, um, should be okay for your eyes. Uh, we now see those handles a lot better. And I think when, like if my screen would have been blue or in any color or on an, on a background image in a photo, I would have seen those um, handles like immediately. But my first attempt was to grab one of those and uh, because you see if I like hover a bit that if I'm hovering such a handle, the new handles, the, the smart distribute handles won't appear. But if I move it a bit more into the selection, they will appear. So yeah, that was like a bit confusing to me, but a little later I understood that I can now grab those handles right here and it automatically snaps those few uh, like layers. It can be any layer. It doesn't have to be an icon or something. And you can now see the like spacing uh, at your cursor. It's currently uh, 48 pixels and you can now change it and it's changing it for every item. I will show you another example. If you have different, if you have icons or items or layers from a different size or form or shape, it doesn't really matter. You can select all of them, grab one of the handles and it doesn't matter if it's this one or that one. Um, you can now just change the spacing and it's like doing it in these small steps, you know, it's doing it pixel for pixel and you can really feel it once it's like stuck in, in such a pixel and it's not like, um, like a weird uh, arrangement, you know, it's really um, no, I don't know. It just feels good. It feels all right. It feels like uh, you could use this on a daily basis and it's like easy, you know? So that's basically smart distribu distribute. So at least um, for this update. Um, it's only for one direction. So yeah, we we can't use it for like up and down or like up and to the left or to the right. We can only use it like on a horizontal or vertical way currently. I can't like drag it up and drag it down or so. I can only drag it left or right. But of course it's also working with um, layers that are, oops, 
that are like placed in such a vertical way. You know, you also get these handles and you can use it in just the same way. It's super easy and um, it will like speed up your process quite a bit, I think, because I mean, until now, what I was doing, imagine like we have a new icon right here. Let me grab this stuff and move it down. Um, like we have an icon right here and I want to create a like top bar or something, you know? Let me try that out. Um, and let me create a group tab bar. Okay, so the way right now, like before the update was to go and um, use like copy and paste your icons or whatever you want. So we have four icons in here. And what I had to do was to check all the different spacings. It's 30 pixels. This one is 40 pixels, so I have to like change the spacing between those. And this is one is 50, so like it was super confusing. And the, the spacing on this side is uh, 68 pixels and on this one um, 28. So uh, what we are able to do now is to just to, like not um, correct it in this way to have like 20 here and uh, 40, I mean 40 to this, 40 to that and uh, like 30 here and now we have to select all of those layers and move them shift right so we get 10 pixel or 10 points spacing between them now we have 40 pixels um, spacing between all of those elements but uh, like that takes so much time you know now imagine we do the same again with the new way with the latest update um, we can now just grab one of those handles right here and you see that we can change the spacing super easily. 40 pixels between all of those elements, like those icons, and boom, we have our tab bar. It's super easy, super convenient, and I gotta say I love that Sketch finally like added a new feature that will help us to improve our like daily workflow in Sketch and that will make it a little easier, you know? Um, I'm super happy about that. Maybe you can let me know in the live chat if you, if you know about that feature already, if you tested it and how you're using it. By the way, I'm drinking like Orangina, it's like a soft drink and they, they say that they have like real fruit stuff in it um, and it tastes good. Do you have this in your, in your country as well? Orangina, it tastes really good. No product placement. And Siri is starting. Hey Siri, live chat, tell Siri something. She didn't understand what you said. <laughs> okay. So, this is just a small update, you know, like a, sm a single new feature. But imagine in a couple of weeks or in a couple of months, we maybe have a whole set of um, smart distribute or smart features in Sketch. I'm really looking forward to that and I'm happy that they are like keep the features and the improvements going. It's not like the sketch that I was using when I started 2015 or 14, you know? It's uh, like a lot better now and a lot smarter. So it's great. I hope you like enjoyed this little demo of the new features. Um, of course, you can use it also only with two layers can do some fun stuff with it um, and yeah it's it's working the way like super fast super smooth and once you know that this handle that appears like on hover that you know when you once you know that this is the feature they released 
um, then you're ready to go. This is like not not like a critical message to sketch or anything. It's just like my experience, and I think I think that's a perfect example for user experience. You design a cool thing, a cool feature, and then you have a dumb user like me, and they are just not seeing your handles, you know. And you think like, okay, we tested it, and we you we I don't know we brainstormed it, designed it, and it took like weeks, and then somebody comes and is not really seeing those handles in here. <laughs> That's probably a perfect example for your like the message or the the saying that your users are dumb people, you know? It doesn't mean that they are like dumb in every way, but they are using your app or your design in the end in their way and they maybe have a see I like an eye disability or I don't know maybe they are using like they are using your your app on their phone and the sun is really bright or maybe even in my office the sun is shining on my screen and I can't see the handles because the contrast between the background and the handles isn't that big all those things can happen and you like you can't test every single case you know um yeah that's crazy. Um, anyway, I really enjoyed using this feature and heads up to Sketch for improving the app as I said already. Thank you so much uh, to the Sketch team for like also listening to the community and to like just keeping the improvements going. And also thank you guys for joining the live stream. This was just a super short live stream. I wanted to like get it going again to just um, come back into the live stream setup. I have a new light setup right now um, and uh, I think I will do this a little more often now again because I really enjoy live streaming um, and I know that you guys enjoy it too. So thank you so much for joining this one. I uh, hope you're looking forward to the next one. If you like this live stream, you can of course subscribe to this channel. You can uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed it and you can also share it on Twitter or anywhere. That would be really helpful. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for being part of this and we see us in the next one. Bye.